Okay, so we've got a, a solve question with algebraic fractions. We've got a x term and an x plus 10 term that we need to get rid of. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this out again. So I have a bit of room to, to work. Now the uh, mission really is to get rid of those fractions. So I put my lines going down. Um, so if I times everything by x, that gets rid of the left hand what, fraction. So I'm going to times everything by x to get rid of that fraction on the left. So that just leaves that as 2, which is great. Got rid of that. Now whenever you times a fraction by something, you times the top by it. So that becomes 10x over x plus 10. The, the bot doesn't change. And now I've got times this by x as well. Okay, next thing I need to do is get rid of that bottom. Now, whenever you have an expression in a fraction, just put a bracket around it. So I'm going to times everything by bracket x plus 10. And remember, you've got to times all terms. So I've got to times that 2 by it, x plus 10. That just gets rid of the denominator in the second term. And so that's 7x brackets x plus 10. Okay, so let's expand all the brackets. So always get rid of fractions and brackets. Okay, now I'm going to put them all onto the same side. So I'm just effectively, I'm not going to write this, but I'm just going to take away all of these from that side. Because actually it helps us to have the x squared as a positive. So, right, so we've got... Um, 10x and 2x, that's 12x, so that would be 58x, and then we've got the minus 20. Now it says it wants it to two decimal places, which is a bit of a hint that um, it's not going to be able to factorise. So I'm going to put this into the quadratic formula, so I'm going to press the fraction button first, and it's minus b, which is 58, plus or minus, so I'm going to do plus, square root of b squared so 58 squared minus 4 times a which is 7 times c which is bracket minus 20 close bracket and then press down to go to the denominator and 2 times a so I press equals and it gives me the answer of 0 0.33 and then I go back and change that plus to a minus Saves so me having to write it out again. Now, if, if you don't know how to do that, um, then please type in on maths quadratic formula, and there's loads and loads of videos we put out on how to do that. And those are my two answers.